Happy Go! Breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. Wake up. Bandits will begin arresting government soon. Wake up. Bandits will begin arresting government soon. Adebayo to Buari. To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, Please stay tuned as I read to this news. The presidential candidate of the Social Democratic Party, SDP, Adewale Adebayo, has said the government of President Muhammad Buhari had shut down seven years ago. The SDP flag, the SDP flag bearer was reacting to the shutting down of all unity schools around the federal capital territory by the Nigerian government over security issues, especially threats from terrorist groups. He warned that if nothing is done, and urgently too. The bandits will become the government and will be arresting the government. Adebayo said people should resign honorably if they cannot do their jobs so that those who are willing to work will take over and save the country from collapse. The shutdown of the government school in FCT, according to the government, is to prevent kidnapping and other things attached. But before our schools were shut down, the first thing that was shut down was the presidency. Adebayo told reporters in Abuja immediately, after a closed door meeting with the leadership of the Christian Association of Nigeria, Khan. The presidency has been shut down for the past seven years. The government has shut itself down. So, if we are not careful, the government will be will be the bandit and the bandits will be arresting the government. We need to be serious. We need to work. We need the president to protect us. We share so many things with the government, but we can't share law enforcement with the government. There can only be one commander in chief in the country. So the commander-in-chief must wake up and the service chiefs must wake up and he must be capable of replacing them. The bandits are people, are people government can deal with decisively, but we must have a government first. If we don't have a government first, all kinds of insults will come upon the country. If they want to attack hospitals now, will you close to? If they want to attack banks, will you close banks too? So, what's going to be left? If they attack airports, will you close the airports too? Why don't you just do the job or resign so that those who can do the job will do the job? You can be shutting down. The outgoing president of the Christian Association of Nigeria, Supo Ayokunle, Shupo Ayokunle, 
said the president had come to seek advice and prayers from the organization ahead of the 2023 presidential election. My servant Christian leaders from the states prayed for him and wished him well, the current president said. We need as many people that God has touched to contest for the presidency so that people will have ample opportunities to choose the array of presidential candidate, the best that will do our nation good. This is our prayer. The presidential candidate of the Social Democratic Party, SDP, Adewale Adebayo, has said the government of President Muhammadu Buhari had shut down seven years ago. The SDP flag bearer was reacting to the shutting down of all unity schools around the federal capital territory by the Nigerian government over security issues, especially threat from terrorist groups. He warned that if nothing is done, and urgently too, the bandits will become the government and will be arresting the government. Adebayo said people should resign honorably if they cannot do their jobs so that those who are willing to work will take over and save the country from collapse. The shutdown of the government school in FCT, according to the government, is to prevent kidnapping and other things attached. But before our schools were shut down, the first thing that was shut down was the presidency. Adebayo told reporters in Abuja immediately after a closed door meeting with the leadership of the Christian Association of Nigeria, Khan. The presidency has been shut down for the past seven years. The government has shut itself down. To my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view is all about. Thank you for listening.